going to show you how to work with the necklines. It's obvious that the neckline should be made wider. You don't make your summer dresses with the tight necklines, do you? What is very important is that the front and the back neckline should be even. The distance between the center back and the beginning of the shoulder should be even to the distance between the center front and the beginning of the shoulder. This is very important. I also want you to understand that you can make the necklines of any shape you want. I need to cut this pattern next. I've already made several patterns for the tutorials. When working with the armholes, I'll cut it differently. I'll show you how to do it in one of the next videos. Now I just need to cut the details right along the pattern. If you learn to work with the basic patterns, you'll be able to sew anything you want for yourselves and the people around you. As I've already said, we'll be working with the necklines first. I've prepared a lot of useful materials for you. As I've already said, the techniques are the same for working with all types of the basic patterns. There are different cutting systems used for making the basic patterns. My basic pattern is made on the basis of my 10 measurement cutting system. The course of the 10 measurement cutting system is available now. I watch a lot of different sewing channels on YouTube. I don't want to offend anyone, but there are not so many people who go as deep into working with the parents as I do. Basic parents give you enormous opportunities in sewing. Once you learn the basic techniques for working with them, you will be able to sew almost anything you want. I shouldn't have cut the side seam. Let's have a close look at it. It goes down from the center of the armhole. Here it is in the original pattern. There's also an opening in it. Anyway, this is where it was originally placed. There's one thing I wanted to understand. The fact that the side seam is placed here in the basic pattern doesn't mean that it will be placed here in all the garments I make on its basis. What if I sew 50 different garments? The side seam can be placed right in the center of the armhole. It can be placed closer to the back. Divide the back part of the armhole in three parts by side and draw a side seam on the one third from the center. It will be placed here in this case. It can be done in case there are a lot of additional details in the front, like the princess seams and there aren't any in the back. The center front and the center back shouldn't be changed in any case. It's up to you whether to make and not to make the waist tucks. There can be made either side detail or a princess seam here. As I've already said, in case you made different additional details in the front, you can move the side seam closer to the back. It's absolutely okay. Do you remember how to make the side details instead of the side seams? They should be placed within the width of the armhole. This is very important. I've already showed you how to make the side details. I'm going to show you how to do it once again in one of the next videos. I'm not looking for the easy ways of sewing. I want us to sew beautiful, high-quality garments. This is why I show you the techniques which we use in my fashion house. The girls who work here are the professional tailors. The side seam can also be moved closer to the front. In this case, if the distance between the waist tuck on the back and the side seam is too big, you can make an additional tiny tuck here. Whether you need to do it or not depends on your body and on the design of the garment you are making, whether you want it to be close-fitting or not, whether it's a top, a blouse or a dress. 
or whether it's a jacket, which will be put on on top of something else. This is why I wanted to learn to work with the basic patterns. The side seams can be moved. Don't be afraid to do it. You can make a dress with the side seam placed right in the center of the armhole. In the next dress you are sewing, you might want to make the princess seams in the front details. In this case, the side seam should be moved closer to the back. The most important thing is that you need to learn is that a basic pattern is not a pattern for any particular garment. The fact that the side seam is placed here in the basic pattern doesn't mean that it should be placed here in each garment you make on its basis. Next, I want to talk to you about the necklines. Have a look here. What if I want the neckline to look this way? There is a chest dart here. To do that, I need to move the chest dart. I've already told you that it's very convenient to work with the chest darts Move to the center front. This is not a permanent position. I moved it here in order to be able to work with this part without any problems. When the neckline is ready, I'll decide where to move the dart. To the neckline, to the side seam. If I make a garment with a seam on the waistline, I'll be able to move the dart here. The dart was moved here temporarily. I want to show you how to make simple vests and vest dresses. The shoulders in such cases should be very tight, about 6 or 5 cm wide. There is no need to cut the shoulder darts when making such garments. They are not needed here. Imagine it hasn't been cut originally. Next, I need to match the beginnings of the shoulder. Have a close look here. These points match. The back is much wider than the back. Why is it so? It's because of the fact that I haven't closed the dot opening. If it was closed this way, the points would have matched. What should I do next? I need to make the shoulders about 5 cm tighter. Just imagine how inconvenient it would have been to work with the shoulders if there were the darts here. I'll make the front neckline about 15 cm deeper. I remind you that I'm showing you how to make patterns for the vests or the simple vest dresses. These two points should match. If they do, you won't have any problems when working with the shoulders. I've already told you that the distance between the center front and the beginning of the shoulder should be even to the distance between the center back and the beginning of the shoulder. This is a must. I'm drawing the front neckline by side. Let's have a look at the back. You can draw the necklines however you want. I like it when both the front and the back necklines in the vest are pretty deep. <coughs> I want the shoulders to be 6 cm wide. Have a look at the way I'm adjusting the armhole. I remind you that this part of it shouldn't be changed. The lower part of the armhole in the back shouldn't be changed either. I'll cut the extra pieces. I wanted to see how the pattern should look like. I hope that everything is clear so far. I'm going to show you many more tutorials on how to work with the basic patterns. I remind you that I'm showing you how to make a simple vest or a vest dress. 
The technique is different from the one used, for example, for sewing simple t-shirts. I'm not going to change anything else, so the chest dart can be moved here. It shouldn't be too long. This is why the side seam should be moved closer to the front. The dart shouldn't be that long. I'm going to make a cut here next. I remind you that we are actually talking about working with the necklines. Very nice. The opening on the center front should be closed. I want to show you this part next. What about the back neckline? This is where it starts. The shoulder should be 6 cm wide. I've drawn the back neckline this way. You can draw it however you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be that deep. You can draw the line even higher. I know that some people don't like showing their backs. The most important thing is that you know where to start drawing. You can make the back neckline of any shape you want. I'm going to cut it according to the first line. Watch what I'm doing. I've turned the basic pattern into a pattern for a vest or a vest dress. This is the center back. One of the most important things is being able to work with the necklines. I want you to be able to draw a neckline of any shape you want by hands. Imagine you want to make a garment with a boat neck. What would you do? You'll start looking for the tutorials on how to make it. If you know how to work with the basic pattern accurately, you'll be able to make it without any problems yourself. I want you to be able to draw and wear anything you want. Have a look at the table. This is my basic pattern. I'm going to show you how to work with the necklines. It won't be convenient for me to work with the neckline with the dart being here. I'm going to move it to the side seam. For it not to be that long, I'll move the side seam a bit, for about 2 cm. This is how long the chest dart is going to be. I'm going to cut the pattern next. Notice that I haven't changed the waist tucks. I've just moved the side seam for 2 cm. Anyway, I'm not talking about the waistline now. I am going to make a video on how to work with the waist later. There are different ways for making the garments fit you perfectly. Next, I need to move the chest dart to the side seam. It should be done just for it not to be placed here. The dart is going to be slightly biased. I remind you that you can draw the dart however you want. This way, that, you can make it horizontal. You can make it go slightly down or even down to the very bottom. All of these options will be right. You can place the seam however you want. Anyway, this is not what I want to talk to you about today. We are talking about the necklines. I'm going to show you the most simple types of the necklines today. In the next videos, I'm going to show you some more complicated shapes and designs. The chest dart should be closed.
Be very attentive, please. When you move the chest dart, it doesn't matter where exactly you move it. These angles should be altered. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me put a ruler here. It's obvious that I need to cut about 3 millimeters. It should always be done. Each time you move the chest dart. Have a look at the armhole. It doesn't look accurate this way. This is why the slope of the shoulder should be changed for about 4 or 5 millimeters. This is a must. If you don't do it, you won't be able to make accurate shoulders. This is one of the things you should pay attention to when working with the patterns. The shoulder dart should also be moved. I'll move it to the back neckline. I'm preparing the basic pattern for working with the necklines. The original dart opening should be closed. That's it. I can start drawing the neckline now. I've moved both the chest and the shoulder dart. What is also important is that you need to know what exactly you're planning to do before you start working. I want to make the neckline 2 cm wider. In order to do that, I need to match the shoulders first, and then measure and mark 2 cm in the bold details. You can make the necklines as wide as you want. I want to make a beautiful round neckline. What does it mean? I want to make the front neckline 3 cm deep. This is how it's going to look like. I don't want it to be too wide and too deep. I'll make the back neckline just about 1.5 cm deep. Make sure that you're working accurately. This is the accurate round neckline. You can see that it's not deep. That means that I won't be able to put the top on and off this way. I will have either to insert a zipper in the center back seam or make a tiny slit with a button here. There is nothing else to do but to make kind of a fastener when making garments with such necklines. What if I make both the back and the front necklines deeper? I'll make the front one about 5 cm deep and the back one about 2 cm deep. Watch the way I'm doing it. I'm showing you how to draw accurate, beautiful necklines. This is how the front neckline looks like now. It's still not too deep for me to be able to put a top on without a fastener. What if I make it not 2, but 4 cm wide? I remind you that we have to match the shoulders when working with their width. Watch what I'm doing. The neckline is 4 cm wide now. How deep should it be? About 10 cm deep on the front. Don't think that it's too deep. It's not. Have a look at the position of the bus top. Here it is. Now you can see that the neckline is not too deep. I also want to make the back neckline a bit deeper. This is how the neckline is going to look like. It's accurate. If I want to make a really deep neckline, I need to make it about 5.5 cm wide. 
and 15 centimeters deep. Do not forget to take into consideration the position of the bus stop. I live in the south of Russia. It's very hot here in summer. Such deep necklines are very convenient in this case. I'll also make the back neckline a bit deeper. Have a close look at it. The dart is pretty long. Do not forget to stitch the left part of the dart when neckline is ready. It will make the gum and fit the body perfectly. There's one very important moment though. If the dart is just about 1 or 1.5 cm long, you don't need to stitch it. If it's 4 cm long, you will have to do it. All of these options are accurate. The first drawn neckline wasn't deep. Such necklines are perfect for the classic sheet dresses or some business dresses. Can you imagine a business dress with a deep neckline? It wouldn't be appropriate. Anyway, the neckline is okay for a casual clothes, which you wear when going for a walk, for example. It's also perfect for those who like wearing different accessories. As I've already said, all of these options are accurate. Have a look here. It's also possible to draw the back neckline differently. If you want to make it deeper, you can draw it this way. The back neckline is 9 cm deep now. What about the shoulder dart? It's just about 1 cm long now. There is no need to stitch it. Ignore it when cutting the fabric. What you can do is to iron this part accurately before stitching the details. I want you to understand that you can draw a neckline of any shape, width and depth you want. Watch what I'm doing next. I want to cut this neckline, the deepest one. When I do it, I'll show you what to pay attention to. I'm going to shoot many more tutorials on working with the basic patterns. Please, be patient. I also want to cut the deepest neckline on the back. Imagine I'm making a summer top with a deep neckline. Have a look at the end of the dart. There is no need to stitch it. This part will be cut in a bias, so it won't be hard to iron it in such way that it's of the needed shape. When you cut the necklines, you need to match the shoulders this way to check if they are even. If they are not, you need to understand where and when a mistake was made. Let's continue working. I've reached the point where I can decide where to move the chest dart. I've decided that I don't want it to be placed in the side seam. I want to move it to the front neckline and make two pleats here. There's one very important rule. Before making an opening in the front neckline, you need to measure it. Watch how I'm doing it. Thirty-one centimeter in our case. I'll write the measurement down. One half of the front neckline is thirty-one centimeter long. Вот она. Тридцать два, я сказала, да? I remind you that this is the center front. I'll sign it as well. Did I say 32? 31 cm. One half of the front neckline is 31 cm. Next, I need to move the chest dart to the front neckline. Why haven't I done it before? Imagine there was a dart here when I was drawing the front neckline. I wouldn't be able to draw and cut it accurately in this case. I remind you that it's also possible to make pleats here. This is how the pattern looks like now. If I didn't measure the neckline in advance, it would have been too complicated for me to work with it now. I remind you that in my case, 
The length of the neckline is 31 cm. As I've already said, if I didn't measure the neckline in advance, it would have been too hard for me to work with it now. In our case, the neckline is 31 cm long. I'm making these tutorials for you to be able to work with the basic patterns without any problems. Next, I need to check if the shoulders are even. I know for sure that the side seams are even, because I haven't changed them. I've showed you how to make accurate round necklines. The chest dart is accurate. It was just made shorter. It will still make the garment fit the body perfectly. You can either make a regular dart here, or make a couple of tiny pleats, for example. You can also draw the princess seams through these points. They do not necessarily have to go to the shoulders. Today I showed you how to work with the round necklines. I showed you how to move the chest darts, how to alter the shoulders, how to move the side seams. This is not the last video on working with the necklines in the basic patterns. I want to show you how to make square necklines, v-necks, and some other different shaped necklines. When we are done with the necklines, I'll show you how to work with the armholes, how to work with the waist tucks, and with the darts, how to make princess seams, how to make the side details instead of the side seams. When you learn to work with the basic patterns without any problems, you will be very happy. Ladies, I want you not to learn to sew fast, but to learn to sew accurate high-quality garments. Nowadays, people tend to do everything fast. We've forgotten about accuracy and quality. I'm talking not only about sewing. Let's go back to our roots. There's nothing wrong about it. I'm going to make many more tutorials on working with the basic patterns. It takes me just a couple of minutes to do what it takes someone a couple of hours to do. Why? Just because I know how to do it. This is what I'm here for. I am willing to share my knowledge with you. I have a huge sewing experience. Next time, I'm going to show you different types of the necklines. Don't be lazy and don't be afraid of experiments. Let's be different and beautiful together. That's all for today. My name is Pauk Štirina. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.